Did you know you can work in tech without working in tech? Here's why none of my students apply to companies like Google, Meta, or Apple. The Fortune 500 is the list of the 500 most profitable companies. Some of them are big tech companies, but most of them aren't. And every single company on the list makes tons of profit, has tons of jobs available, pays really well, and has good benefits. And tech jobs like data analytics exist at all of these companies, not just the big tech companies. But at the ones that aren't big tech companies, there's way less competition, so it's way easier to get a job. When you're first breaking into tech with no previous paid experience, Google isn't going to hire you, but Walmart, CVS, and Comcast will. And that's where having a portfolio comes in, because if you don't have any other previous paid experience, the only way to prove that you have experience is with a portfolio. That's why all of my students in my program make portfolios as they do projects. That's how my students are getting jobs at awesome companies like Home Depot, Walmart, Texas Instruments, Santander Bank, Parts Authority, Cisco, Comcast, etc. at an average salary of $74,000 with no previous experience. It comes down to the strategy of applying for a tech job like data analytics at a non-tech company like Walmart. Then if your dream is to work at a big tech company like Google, after a couple years of getting paid as a data analyst, you'll then be as competitive as the other people that are applying at Google. This is how my students are breaking into tech from being servers, hairstylists, retail workers, and stay-at-home moms.